MJ here, Mike J21, representing Clip Kings. Oh, it's Giovanni Pratt representing Clip Kings. This is called Kings on Clips. Ow. So what we naturally do is we talk about uh, the things that have gone down weekly. And, you know, just to get a perspective of it from Mike J's point of view and my point of view. Now, we may not always agree on things. Definitely. <laughs> but he's still my dude. So, um, you know, the first topic I want to talk about is, you know, the whole Cardi B, Nicki Minaj thing. If you didn't hear, you know, they got into it, into a little, uh, what was it, uh, like a... Kerfuffle. <laughs> just a, it's a small little problem yeah, that they have. Somebody threw some fisticuffs. You know? uh, yeah, somebody I, came out with a lump on their head. And... Right. I wouldn't say fisticuffs. I, I did see a, a shoe being thrown. Mm. But it was at a, a, a very special event. I, and to me, I think... Uh, Fashion was right. Mm-hmm. So we're in Fashion Week, right? Yeah, it was Fashion Week thing that they had going on. Um, honestly, I think Cardi B took the hell on this one. And she a Bronx chick, just like me. I'm a Bronx dude. You know, I got to ride for my Bronx. But I can't ride for her on this one. There's a time and a place for everything. And to me, I think she should have just played it cool. I think she should have just went up to her, shook Nicki Minaj's hand, and, you know, put her arm around her and said, you know, I'm going to fuck you up after this, right? Like you said, she said, step to her, gave her a hug real quick. Like, yo, I'm going to see you after. Right. Somewhere private. Instead of right. playing herself like taking off shoes and swinging, come yeah, on, yeah, you, yeah. you bigger, you like you, you bigger than that now. You're right. not on the block it, no more. It felt fourth gradeish. You know, that's definitely some. I give it middle school. She was, she was talking about me. Like even though you it's her baby, saying? like that, that's that's a whole other line you cross when you talk when you talk right. to my kids. But at the same time, don't let her mess up your your, your coins. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Not, not of the course. Bag. Of course. You got already be, too big out here to be acting. You have to cure the bag. Like see her after though. Right. Definitely because this been brewing for a long time. Right. Now speaking of beefs. Did you hear about the uh, Joe Button beef with Eminem? I heard about it. Yeah, I mean, Joe, man. Joe, I hear popping stuff. That's it's funny. Though. But Joe has always been popping stuff. He's been he Joe. He's been Joe for for a long time. But you know what? That's what I respect about Joe. He doesn't hold his tongue when he feels a certain way about. He's gonna let you know. I rock with Joe because of that. Right. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. My problem with him is he'll big you up in one token, but in the next, he gonna, he, he gonna let you have it. Now, for him to say what he said about Eminem, some of it I agree with, but some of it feels like there's some malice intentions. There's definitely like, some malice, cause they ain't been they ain't been good for a minute. Was this slaughterhouse? Yeah. I don't I, I don't follow too much of that what was going on back then, but right. clearly they ain't been cool since for for minutes. And this right. just push it over there. And I can see how that I can see how that can be because Joe Buttons, his personality, his energy. If you don't know not, Joe, like right. he look like he'd be an asshole. Right. Which yeah. he actually is an asshole. <laughs> but some of the stuff he said, some of the stuff is, is true. Like I Eminem, mean, I don't totally agree with him. I'm I'm a Eminem fan, but not a huge one, so I don't be like, oh. So how did you feel about that statement when he said he hasn't had any content for the last ten years? I don't, do you, do you, I don't, I don't agree with that either. But um, he ain't, he's honestly the last album besides what the 2010 that was recovery. Man, recovery. Before that one, it was encore. Man. That was 04. And before that one, that was um, the Eminem show, which was dope. To me. Yeah, that, that, that was, was dope. dope. My thing about Slim Shady, outside of some of his funny punchlines, like my personal favorite is, I just settled all my lawsuits. Fuck you, Debbie. Yes. Yeah. Shit is hilarious. It's just right? Or uh, Will Smith don't have to curse in his records to get his point across. I well, do. I do. Fuck him. And fuck you, too. So at the end of it, um, I like that Eminem. You like Slim Shady? Yeah, yeah. That, that this new Eminem. He's Eminem. Right. He's I don't more Marshall than Eminem. That beard and all that other stuff is is weird to me. But like, it, it has like a weird energy. Like, and I'm not. He's into he it. like he he's grown up. But right. like, this new album. Um, what's the name of it? Uh, uh, Kamikaze. Yeah. The new John. Yeah. He 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 tapped back into some of the Slim Shady because of the what's the album before this? It just came out. I um, really didn't hear it, we'll so I can't that. talk on it. But yeah, that it's one. a pilot. Remember yeah, nobody, that? Yeah. Nobody really. <laughs> Yeah. Rock with that. Uh, People rock with it, but they didn't. So your take on the Colin, Colin Kaepernick thing? Well, what, what, how did you feel about that? Because I got I, I got a lot to say about that. Um, I think it's cool on Nike's part. It's smarter on their part, business wise, of course. And if they're really about the movement, that makes it even better. Uh, to me, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, mean, I don't, I can't halfway believe it because it's Nike. It's a business. I, but I respect that they put, they took that chance right. and put him out there. I think with Nike, they, they. Corporately choose their battles. Yeah, like do. for instance, you you can't be about freedom, but yet you still got sweatshops. You see what I'm saying? So Nike picks and choose, and I'm I'm not saying I'm mad that they did what they did. I actually think that's great 
Because at the end of the day, Nike actually took a stance and said, no, I'm with the people on this yeah. one. The ones that are oppressed. The ones that actually buy our we, products. We need, right. We need to give them a voice. But then you got radio personalities, and we ain't going to say no names. No, they, we, got, <laughs> we got radio personalities talking about they don't like Colin Kaepernick. Why? Yeah, why? Like, what is it about him you don't why? like? Why? What has he done um, to make you not like him? One... One radio person said that he didn't like him because he's not a good quarterback. But we're not talking about this him as a quarterback. You know what I'm saying? But that shows you the ignorance of these people that are speaking. They want to burn their apparel, but you've already. Which is the funniest just, thing ever. I saw uh, something on. I swear, I hope. I have real. not Somebody seen somebody tried to burn a pair of their Nikes and their house burned down. I swear. Right, I yeah. Hope it's real. You know, I can't confirm or deny that, but that is I hilarious. I swear, I hope it's real. That's hilarious. Try to burn the shoes. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. But I am a firm supporter of Nike. I'm to a, the point where I have stock. And speaking of so stock. You're a smart man. Yes, yes. So you know, yeah, you know, I like to have uh, my yeah. little drops come in. Okay. Oh Lord, you see these right New pair of kicks. Ow. I'm a Nike head. Mm. So, you know, just to show y'all I like to have those 1997. I'm an old school head, you know. Uh, you see the Air color Max on pluses. those? Uh, yes. Got the new Air Max Pluses. Uh, right there, those are nice little fresh. Those are Nikes. So, on the midst of them confirming that they were messing with Colin Kaepernick, I decided to go ahead and pick me up a pair of $160 Nike pluses. Yeah, I, you know what I did yesterday? Mm. I uh, tried on me a pair of Air Max 93s for the did first you? time ever. Wasn't feeling that fit. They but felt like a piece of wood on my foot. Some, <laughs> some of them, some of them have that narrow foot, but these right here are comfortable. Nah, my brother, you got to get your own. <laughs> you see that the sleek design here? This right here, being that you didn't go to school, these are. This is about a ninety degree angle right here. You see that right there? I'm good at geometry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just want to make sure. You know how right, you hood. Right there with you, you know how you hood cats do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm from the suburbs. You know what I mean? Suburbs you know, in the Bronx and Fort Road. And, and, yeah. yeah, you know. Uh, I, I just visit the hood every now and then. You know what I'm saying? saying? I'm well known. I'm well known in the uh, burbs like the SATs. Don't hate on the brother. Oh. You know what I'm saying? These right here, they're jade with the uh, little. At first, I wasn't really feeling the little. I don't even know what to call these. What is about uh, peach? Peach color? Where do you see peach? At? I'm just saying, like a, about peach color. Look at that, real. That's like yeah, something. Yeah, like a like a strawberry. Little check on it. Like a down later. But after these, but after these on my feet with some sweat. Make you feel different, huh? Lotion up the skin. Be officially killed with a V-neck white T-shirt. Yeah, you know all that. Keep Good it, Lord. Keep it New York, huh? Uh, of course. Okay. I keep. You know, I got to keep it New York. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why I fucks oh. with Cardi B every now and then. All right. Dude. Now, um, other than that, you know. Speaking of another Nike thing, uh, you see our boy Jim Carrey. Oh Lord, he's a funny fellow. Nah, I like him. I like how he does. You know what? If we actually had a racial draft, oh, Jim would have been drafted a long ago. Who would you trade for? It's a bunch. It's so many to name. I can't name them right who would now. You tra- I say Tiger Woods. Tiger been gone though. Did we ever really have? I mean, did he ever really rep the team officially? I mean, when we found out he was cheating, yeah, we brought him back. Back to me. Yo, you see the uh, you know, solo about to come out on uh, Blu-ray, right? Mm. Check that out when it was in theaters. Mm. Yeah. Man, well, we out of time, yeah. fellas. All that good hand up. Get up out of here, <laughs> yeah, y'all. Yeah. Been Mike J. Yep, this is Giovanni Pratt. We are Kings on Clips. Peace. <laughs> so we going to call it. Yeah, we. Cooking something. Kings on clips? I don't know.